Oh peeps, welcome again to channel 48. I hope you're doing fine on this sunny, sunny, beautiful Sunday afternoon. Well, I'm here with two new phones that I have in my collection. Well, they are not new, but uh, two new models. And one is uh, the LG and the other the Note 5. I got them from subscriber uh, Jonathan. So a big thumbs up to Jonathan. Jonathan, super bedankt voor het opsturen van de telefoon. Zeg goed aangekomen. Uh, zeker over de LG ben ik erg blij uh, om, ja, om te zien dat er zoveel um, development voor deze telefoon is. But more about this phone in another video. Today it's about the Note 5. We're gonna upgrade it from stock uh, to custom stock. I made a beautiful ROM for it. Uh, I called it the MS Phone 11 ROM. Okay, it's official. Uh, it's made on the official firmware from Samsung, the last build that they made for this phone. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful ROM, works really good. And we're gonna go ahead and install it. I'm gonna show you how to upgrade it. Title of the video is as well saying, convert the Noble uh, ZT to Noble. And what does that mean? Well, this device, is the 9208ZT. The Noble is the 9208 uh, without anything behind it. Now the Noble is supporting way more ROMs than the ZT model. So how can you let the ZT model as well be part of, 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 of that show? Well, I found it out by making a mistake. It comes with VPN built in, so you have a strong VPN connection uh, that you can connect from many countries, a bunch of countries. It doesn't cost a penny. Um, so that is as well available, World TV, World Radio, uh, Dutch TV, that Dutch people across the border can as well watch thanks to the VPN that is built in. Only thing they need to do is connect to the Dutch VPN. So all in all, a very nice ROM. And I'm very happy with this device. So let's get started. Welcome again to channel 48. My name is Puck. And thank you for tuning in. Note 5. This is the Chinese model of the Note 5. Um, and it was with credits to Jonathan. He uh, sold this phone to me. As well got a LG, um, the D802 uh, from him. But more about this phone in another video has as well or has a lot of support. This phone does not have so much uh, support so I made some ROMs for it but how to upgrade this thing if it's still in uh, official stock uh, yeah well what you should do is go to about the device and um, look for software information and just find build number and tap it until it's saying you enable developers options then you go two steps back and then find developers options and make sure that um unlock is turned on of course you already made a backup because we're gonna lose everything and the next step is to go into a download mode we do that by hitting reboot like that and we start with holding volume down and the home button like that and the power of course Keep holding, just keep holding, keep holding. And there we are. Here you can see the Chinese recovery. This is the Chinese model of this phone. Uh, we as well need a computer that has some uh, um, drivers from Samsung installed, the USB drivers from Samsung, and you need a tool called Arden. Okay. We are now in the download mode and we need a tool called Odin as I said and here it is. 
Now there is something with this phone. This phone has, uh, um, has the luxury to run Noble LTE ROMs and Noble, uh, what did this one was, uh, the T-Set. We have, we have several ROMs for this thing, eh? several models, okay? So, um, this model is the 9208 ZT, okay? It's as well running the ZT firmware at this moment, the official. But I can as well flash uh, the XX um, yeah, International Noble LTE. Uh, f well, not firmware to it, I can. Uh, but then I must make a custom ROM from that firmware. Then I can. Out of the box, without changing anything, it boots up. But if I'm going to install this official um, XX build to, uh, to the phone, then it fails in Arden. Okay, because Arden has uh, a problem with, with, with the, I don't know what, PIT file or so. I don't know what it's saying. So uh, that is kind of stupid. Uh, but it, it works and it works even better. So um, I make my ROMs on the 9208 builds. Okay, and the builds that I use uh, are not the, the, the set T builds. Here you can see this is uh, what you're seeing here. I don't know if you can see it. But these are the set T builds. This build is running officially on this phone right now, okay? But because I want to give it, uh, yeah, noble LTE functionalities, I will flash a different twerp to it. I will flash the twerp for noble LTE to it and not for noble LTE uh, F, F set or whatever the thing is, T set. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and... Just go to my twerp files wherever I have them. And here you can see this is a uh, twerp for Noble, uh, Noble LTE ZT. I don't want the ZT. I'm gonna go for, uh, for the normal Noble, the Noble LTE, yeah? because I'm as well gonna flash a Noble LTE ROM that I just finished to it. So I'm gonna select this one and then I'm gonna hit start. And as soon as it's gonna reboot, we press volume up home and power and we let go when we see the logo. That will bring us in the recovery mode. Okay, now there is as well another thing uh, uh, wrong with this phone. The MTP is broken. As you can hear, no tutum, tutum, nothing. You see that while the thing is connected to the computer. We format data now. Okay, and we go to wipe and advanced wipe, dial fix system, data, internal storage and catch. And we wipe it. And then we're gonna hit reboot. Reboot back to recovery. Now, because this thing has no, um, it has no, uh, how you call it? It has no MTP because of, I don't know why, don't know what happened to this phone, but more people are crying about this problem. It's probably Samsung that did something stupid that these phones are all getting this problem. And if you're gonna ask them about it now, they're gonna be like, hey, so where's your warranty? So we use a thing like this. And this is a small OTG uh, micro SD hub. That's how you can call it. And you can get them at the action for my Dutch people. You see that? It's an OTG card reader. I have two of them. So in my case, because my MTP is broken, um, yeah, 
I have a problem. And if I stick in one of these while the system is running, uh, it won't charge anymore on this ROM. I don't know what it is. So if you uh, need to charge your phone and you stick in your cable, it, it's not charging. Only thing you need to do is a little reboot and then it's gonna charge. Okay. But yeah, maybe that is a problem that I have because of my MTP chip that is crazy. So maybe you don't have that problem. If you have that problem too, uh, just let me know. But I don't think that you're gonna have that problem at all. And we transfer files like this to a little card. Here I have the card. Windows always wants to repair things and when they repair it, it's not working anymore. And suddenly your card is corrupt. Oi, 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 oi. Okay, so uh, let me see. This one can go. This one I don't need. This one was good. This is an official light. So I as well have an official light that comes with, with, with TouchWiz official, but then light, rem remove the, the blood way out of it, etc. Uh, for this device. Uh, I have an iPhone ROM, I iOS experience, I call it these days. Yeah, we don't call it iOS ROM anymore, we call it iOS experience. <laughs> yeah, toch? We must give these things uh, updated names, eh? iOS experience sounds nice. Uh, so what was I doing there? Um, yeah, I wanted. Oh yeah, I wanted to copy the room that I just finished. Let me go to my to my kitchen uh, output, and I created MS Home room for it official. I'm gonna give Microsoft a little bit of love because they as well are soon. Well, they and Samsung are working good together, eh? <laughs> and it could be that that soon you're gonna get Samsung phones. Nah, I don't know. This is just my fantasy, okay? So the Microsoft phone here, <laughs> a Channel 48, is still alive. Well, not really. But it comes with real Microsoft launcher, okay? So the launcher is by Microsoft. And the look at feels, that's just a little bit of fantasy from me. I don't know how the boot animation is going to look. I must remake the boot. And I need somebody to make me a nice Windows 11 phone boot animation. A QMG, eh? I need QMG. I can do it myself too, but you know... Some of you are very skilled and make very beautiful boot animations. So if you want to make one for me, for my Windows phone rooms, my MS phone rooms, then you are welcome. So this concept is called um, Windows Phone 11 Experience, okay? Yeah. Experience, we learned from Pixel Experience. Yeah, well... We learn, we learn, we learn, peeps, we learn. We learn and we create. So now we should be able to go ahead and install. Now I don't know if this, oh yeah, I must put in, put in the SD card, of course, you stupid. Uh, put in the SD card. So if you have a problem with your USB, uh, MTP that you're not able to connect to the computer, you can charge via the computer, but you cannot send a file then you need a thing like this so whenever you see a thing like this buy it for your phone you have them in um in micro sd and in uh usb c format okay so let's let's see i hope that this room is gonna boot ms phone 11 are you ready there we go there we go and this room is based on uh on uh, the 9208. So this is Noble LTE without without this, this, the set T or the T set. Because I found out that that room has less issues. Be better battery life. And it's just better than the original. 
that this phone should have. So yeah. I just give the, the back cover a, a second coating. It's drying in the sun. Give it a nice coating from the inside. So you will not... Uh... So yeah, I don't have to worry about making it very beautiful and smooth from the top because it's being sprayed at the bottom. The bottom always looks good. No dirt, nothing can come there. And that will be fitted on top of this. So this this will become a red note. A red note. And the the plastic uh, cover from Samsung, I, I, I will paint it with, uh, with glossy paint. I will show it uh, soon to you. We're gonna do that as well in this video. So you're gonna see a complete thing. I like this phone. I've been playing with it for, for some days already. I like it because it has, yeah. It has things that I don't see at the other phones. For instance, the MTP is not working. Hmm? And it's just a special phone. Special phone needs special treatment. I just hope it's gonna boot. And probably the boot animation is gonna look like crap. I don't know. We'll have to see. It's booting. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it looks good. Well, that's it. That's how to upgrade your Note 5 and how to convert it into Noble LTE. I hope that this video helped out. If it did, leave it a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe to my channel if you did not already. And then you'll be seeing me in the next video again. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.